is the Jason Walker Show. Two-time National Sports Media Association Montana Sportscaster of the Year and three-time loser, the Jason Walker Show. The best local and statewide sports coverage featuring the biggest guests from Montana. We're wrapping up and uh, joining us here on the Jason Walker Show. It's pretty exhausting, too. You used to dance a lot more. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm 51 years old now. The NAI Hall of Famer Mike Bendis joining us here on Jason Walker Show. And is it just a deal where quarterbacks have to be good golfers. That's what they have time for. They don't work out, they don't lift weights. They don't do anything else. They might as well get on the golf course and at least have some fun. And from across the country. Doug Gottlieb, our guest here on the Jason Walker Show. End of the day, you remember, it's your show. It's got your name on it. Howie Mandel, our guest here. Jason Walker. Deal or no deal. The Jason Walker Show. Broadcasting from the major mortgage man cave. Here's Jason Walker. Hey, what up? Happy Tuesday. Jason Walker Show, presented by Capital Collision Center. Montana State Law says it is your vehicle, it is your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center. Inside the Major Mortgage Man Cave, we're going to talk Rodeo, Alaska. And there's a Montana connection. But in about uh, 20 minutes or so, Frank Koloski will join us. Yes, when one thinks of rodeo, they don't necessarily think of Alaska, right? Well, so we'll talk to Frank Koloski coming up. Also, uh, Cassie Turner, Miss Last Chance Stampede, scheduled to uh, stop by in person as well. So you, there you go. You can watch live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. You can listen live on Podbean, Network One Sports, TreasureStateRadio.com, and many, many more. Great and you know what? Just go to JasonWalkerShow.com, and, uh, and you can get any info you need on this show. You can tweet us, at JWalkerSports. You can Facebook. You can email and uh, so much more. All right, uh, let's see here. Where are we starting today? We got a lot of stuff going on. Um, let me get to the right page. We got so much stuff. Working on, still working on the cameras and also the lighting in the in the studio. Um, it's a work in progress, but um, there you go. Oh, by the way, tomorrow, Miles, baseball coach, Jeff Brabant will join us. Also, Allie Colleen is going to stop by again. Um, we talked with her back in February, but uh, fantastic young artist. And uh, her album's finally out. So uh, we're gonna. they reached out and said, hey, she wants to talk to you. I said, okay, cool. Uh, also, Fallon Frigi is going to join us on Thursday, the former Montana State Big Sky MVP and uh, current uh, pro, just wrapped up her first year overseas, and we'll talk to her coming up as well. Uh, on Thursday this week. So, on um, this day in history coming up today, the walk-off, whole bunch more. And uh, like I said, Cassie Turner, Frank Koloski, all set to join us here on the Jason Walker Show. Speaking of rodeo, and which we do a lot here on the show, because, well, it's just, it's local, and it's good, but there's, I saw this today, um, Sean Gleason, the PBR CEO, sent this out. The Western Sports Industry Coalition has been formed. Why? Well, <laughs> it's because the uh, city of L.A. has an ordinance that is being proposed to ban rodeo, bull riding, and rodeo-like events in the area. Now, if this ordinance is, is passed, there will be no rodeo. There will be no bull riding. There will be no equestrian events in L.A. So the all-black rodeo, the PBR, PRCA rodeos in LA and the surrounding area, the Compton Cowboys exhibitions, and uh, like I said, Olympic equestrian sports. And then you're going to see other cities in California start this. This is important, folks. This is vital. It's not, it's not just about what we like. And it's all Western sports that can be construed as rodeo-like. So on our Facebook page, and we'll put it up on Twitter too, but there's a, a, a link to either comment or uh, write letters to the county or city council in Los Angeles. This is a big, big deal. And they want to get rid of rodeo in not only LA, but eventually California. That, I mean, think about all that stuff. Like we've mentioned, the all black rodeo, which is huge in uh, Staples Center, the PBR, PRCA rodeos that are held down there, anything rodeo-like. 
they'll say see ya. So get on board. And if you love the sport of rodeo, this won't, I mean, eventually, if this passes in LA, it's going to spread. It's going to spread elsewhere. And we can't, we can't have that. I mean, it's the way of life for many of our friends. So let's figure this out. And uh, let, let's, let's make sure this, this ordinance doesn't pass. How ridiculous. California, good Lord. And then they come to Montana. They move to Montana or Texas now and want to enact California law. No, if it was so bad where you lived in California, don't move your asses here. Don't move them to other states. And then if you do, don't try to change here in Montana or other states. And there's a lot of Californians moving out of California to other states. Why? Freedom. But then the jack wagons decide, oh, well, we need to ban rodeos. We need to stop eating meat. We need to get rid of plastic straws. Starts with one, and right now they're working on rodeo. So there you go. Uh, let's see here. There's divisional softball tournaments. They got moved up, remember? And the uh, Eastern AA at Belgrade. Uh, let's see here. Great Falls beat Gallatin 14 to 1. Early action West over CMR 21 to 5. Belgrade got past Skyview 14 to 5. Belgrade used to be a powerhouse in Class A and now in Double A. Uh, their softball team seems to be doing well. Uh, senior beat Bozeman 8 to 2. Loser or uh, yeah, loser out action. You had Great Falls uh, over Gallatin or CMR rather over Gallatin 24 to 1. Gallatin went 0 and 2 at the state tournament this year and was outscored 38 to 2. That's not big news. We'll tell you that in a second. Skyview Bozeman playing the loser out action. That one should be over. Uh, let's see, semifinal action two going on. Let's see, you've got uh, Gray Falls taking on West and then Belgrade taking on Senior. Okay, ready for ready for this news? How about Glacier in the Western AA? Well, let's go to them in a second, shall we? All right, so early games today, you had Sentinel over Big Sky 12-1, Cavalry Flathead 18-7, Helena got past Butte 6-4, and then Glacier shut out Hellgate. That's not the big news. Glacier set an MHSA record by scoring 31 runs in the bottom of the first. They ended up with a 32-0 win in the quarters. That's actually not even the most runs scored in a game, 32. Uh, just short of Cutbanks, it's ninth all-time in single-game scoring. Cutbank hit 33 back in 92. The single game record, uh, according to 406mtsports.com, 51. Great Falls High, St. Ignatius, and West all scored that. But Glacier, 31 runs in the bottom of the first today. And uh, they got the opening round win. Okay, so then uh, Sentinel just beat Capital. So Capital falls into loser outplay at 5 o'clock tonight. Flathead got past Big Sky and loser outplay 12 to 11. So you've got Glacier taking on Helena right now, and Butte's taking on Hellgate. So, and then you've got uh, what else we got going on? You have uh, Double A or uh, A going on uh, divisionals for or Double A. Wow, i you know what? My head is working properly. I promise. We've got tennis all over the place. We've got track. We've got everything going on this week. And a lot of stuff moved up this week because of uh, the potential for storms coming. I mean, we got a chance for snow this, this week, like Friday. It's Montana and Maine. Got a lot. Uh, let's see, other news. Mandy Morales, congratulations. One of the all time greatest. Lady Grizz, one of the all time greats from the West. I remember her and Dana Conway were on the same team. And Morales went to Arizona State right out of college, ended up uh, with the Grizz for three years. But she is a new head coach at Huntley Project for the girls. And uh, that's, a, that's a good win. It's actually where she started high school. Played a year there before going off the West. Uh, K 
Kevin Morales, of course, the coach at Skyview, has won a couple of state championships. But uh, Mandy Morales will do a nice job. She really will. Uh, replacing Connor Novakovich as uh, the coach of the girls at Huntley Project. So fun stuff there. Good luck to her. Uh, let's see. We've got some. Uh, oh, we're going to talk Miles baseball tomorrow, but softball had some uh, accolades handed out. We'll talk about those a little bit later on. And uh, MSU B golfer is doing some good things, and we'll talk about that too. But when we return here, Jason Walker Show, presented by Capital Collision Center, we're going to talk Rodeo Alaska. Frank Kolosky will join us next here on the Jason Walker Show. New vehicles keep coming, and Capital Collision Center keeps earning certifications to repair them. Hey Frank, Jason Walker, how you doing? Not too bad, just uh, giving you a call, getting ready to go on the air here, so. Um, so everything we talked about the other day, still good and everything? Okay, sounds like a plan. It's going to be fun. Um, yeah, so you're in Anchorage, correct? Okay. Okay. Sounds like, uh, sounds fun. Sounds cold, but. <laughs> nice. I will uh, switch over to the board. We're going to go here in about 45 seconds or so and uh, just have some fun. Yep, you sound great. All right, hang on, man. Welcome back on a Tuesday, Jason Walker Show, inside the Major Mortgage Man Cave. As always, presented by Capital Collision Center, and uh, still to come, Miss Last Chance Stampede, Cassie Turner. Hung out with her on Sunday, we'll talk about that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, she's also a contestant for Miss Rodeo Montana, and she'll update us on uh, the Stampede and Miss Last Chance Stampede pageant. Also on this day in history, we've got some updates about Miles Community uh, College softball. We'll talk to the baseball coach tomorrow. And Allie Colleen will join us again tomorrow, too. Looking forward to uh, chatting with her. But um, this segment brought to you by Rutgers Furniture. Make the quality choice for your home at Rutgers Furniture 1010 Dearborn Helena. Welcome in. A, a new friend of the show. I talked to this guy the other day, reached out to him and said, Hey, man, when people think of rodeo, they don't think of Alaska. But that's exactly where he's from. Rodeo, Alaska. Frank Koloski joining us here on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. How are you doing? So you're all the way here from uh, Anchorage and uh, on the Jason Walker Show, which is awesome. But when we chatted, Frank, the other day, and I, the first thing I said was, when I think of rodeo, I don't immediately think of the state of Alaska, and yet it's pretty big up there. <laughs> so wait, is rodeo in Alaska bigger than rodeo in Texas? Just based off of... <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I like it. You told me that the other day. It's fantastic. Frank Koloski, our guest here, Jason Walker Show. 
All right, so you've got something coming up here next week, Memorial Day weekend. Not only um, part of Rodeo Alaska, but you also have a first time PRCA sanctioned bull riding event, and you're getting some big names. I can hear it in your voice, Frank, and, and you didn't tell me that on, on, on Friday when we talked. They must have came after we chatted. Frank Koloski, our guest here, Jason Walker show, and uh, he is like the head and uh, CEO man of Rodeo Alaska. So it's going to be in Palmer on Memorial Day weekend, and uh, but you have it's a it's an action packed weekend. This isn't just the one night of bull riding. And let's before we chat about all of that with the bull riding and with those 34 of the 40 top riders that are coming. I mean, we're talking six times Sage Kimsey. We're talking. Um, just you name them, they're coming, uh, including Ruger Piva, who is from Idaho, but he, he rodeoed at the University of Montana Western here in Montana at Dillon, and he actually has a connection to the state of Alaska going back to his high school days. You talk about Ruger, so he is currently 12th in the world standings. Parker Bredding, another Montana boy, he sits 8th in the standings. Um, Shane Proctor, another Montana connection. J.B. Mooney, he was in my dad's sports bar. I mean, you look at some of these guys that, I mean, these are, these are national finals qualifiers. These are PBR guys that are coming to your rodeo. And, uh, man, I wish I could get up there. But Jordan Hansen, who's got some connections. I mean, this... You look at these names, Frank, and I mean this is a this is a big big deal, 
And as, I mean, for, for what you guys have been able to put together up there in Alaska, this is really cool. Uh, 15000 is the purse and uh, some other great prizes. I mean, this is worth these guys' time and flights to get up there. I mean, they're not driving, but they're flying in. And, uh, it, yeah. But... Oh man, that's, uh, that is awesome. And uh, this is a three-day event. And you got the bull riding, which we've been talking about, but there's also Rodeo Alaska events on, on either side of the bull riding. Uh, tell me about those. All right, so rodeo in Alaska, and you guys, like you mentioned earlier, Frank Koloski, our guest here, but you, it's it's light till about two two thirty two or two thirty in the morning. Um, you guys can ride like all day up there. <laughs>
right? There's no question about that. A couple final questions for you, but I'm curious because I've never really talked to anybody from Alaska before. So, um, is it just for? Is it up further north where it's 24/7 for that like a week where they play baseball all the time, or do they do that in Anchorage uh, as well? No way. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. I got to get up there sometime to visit. I really do. I need to come up there next year for this event. That's what I need to do. <laughs> I think so. I think we are too. Um, so you got Rodeo Alaska going on all of Memorial Day weekend. You have uh, events at Palmer too with the Alaska Raceway Park. And then I don't know how far Kodiak and Valdez are, but Military Appreciation Weekend at Valdez or Valdez, and then the Kodiak Crab Festival as well. I mean, that's a Memorial Day weekend. You guys don't screw around up there. <laughs> well, you kind of have to because you only have like two weeks to do this, right? <laughs> that's that's right. There is no time off from what April to to August. We're getting snow this weekend here in Montana. <laughs> I need to. Um, hey, uh, real quick, you mentioned the, the heat, the warm up. I've been watching the, the Weather Channel where the the two rivers that come together. I don't know what city it's in in Alaska, but man, they're underwater, and, and our thoughts are with them for sure. They definitely do, and uh, I, I, you know, you see, you watch the TV shows, and it's not like living up there for sure. But uh, hey, uh, good luck with next weekend. Good luck with the summer, and have some fun, and uh, stay in touch, man. I hope to, uh, I hope to chat with you down the road again. Well, next time you do, we're golfing. You got to come in the summer, though. Hey, uh, Frank Koloski. Yeah, there you go. Sounds good. As soon as you're done, you come down here in June. All right, that is uh, Frank Koloski. Take care, my friend, and uh, we'll talk soon.
Rodeo Alaska coming up next weekend and uh, PRCA bull riding. And like he said, 34 of the top 40 bull riders in the world right now are going to be there. How cool is that? That's just so awesome. And uh, appreciate uh, Frank joining us. And uh, man, how cool to have that. And uh, like I said, when you think rodeo, you think, you know, Texas, Montana, Oklahoma, the North. I mean, we think of everything. You don't really think. Of Alaska and actually there was a heck of a football and basketball player from Montana State that came from Homer Alaska uh, Scott Harry uh, old school folks might remember him but uh, cool stuff Frank Koloski thanks for joining us all right we'll take a uh, we'll take a break we'll come back uh, we're gonna talk more uh, with Miss Last Chance and Pete Cassie Turner she's on her way and also uh, on this day in history Miles softball has some honors we'll talk about and a whole lot more still to come here. Jason Walker Show. We are presented by Capital Collision Center. This segment brought to you by our good friends over at Records Furniture. Make the quality choice for your home. Records Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Hey, She's supposed to be. Okay, because I've got to go get Winnie, so. Yeah, she said she, I guess just leave, I'll tell her to leave the door open. Yeah, I will. So they came to repo Bob's Jeep? Huh? They came to repo Bob's Jeep? Yeah. Yeah, I just, okay, I'll leave the door open, okay? Okay. Ah, Jason Walker Show, back, presented by Capital Collision Center, and just checking out some uh, Major League Baseball news. Anyway, uh, Cassie Turner, Miss Last Chance Stampede, is on her way. Hopefully she gets here before we, uh, we get off the air. Um, that was fun. Frank Koloski talking Rodeo Alaska. That was super cool. And it's going to be on the Cowboy Channel next weekend. So, um, good stuff. 
good good stuff. You can tell how emotional what it is to him too to put this on and, and get it taken care of and get it going. And uh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Anyway, um, we're going to talk Miles baseball tomorrow with Coach uh, Jeff Brabant. They're going to be on the road. Uh, let's see. Ali Colleen will join us as well, singer, songwriter. Fallon Frigi on uh, Thursday, former Bobcat and Big Sky MVP. And uh, that'll be on Thursday. Talk about her first year overseas playing professional. Well, it is about time, young lady. Uh, there she comes in. Okay. Oh, and she's still dressed up. All right. I got dressed. <laughs> Wait, we're live. Don't say that. <laughs> your dad's watching. Okay. Um, but I was right. Okay, hold on. I gotta turn your microphone on. All right, there we go. Cassie Turner, Miss Last Gen Cindy. How are you? I'm good. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, so you were just right. I was. Okay. Um, it's very windy outside, so just so you know. It is windy. I was golfing today earlier. Oh so, no. Yes. Without dad um, driving the golf cart. I know, not yet. But there you go. We got a new camera close up. There you go. <laughs> um, saw you Sunday. Yes. That was fun. It was. Miss Little La Little Miss Last Chance Stampede. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what, 16 girls? 16 yeah. girls, yeah. Yep. Ages 3 to 11. <laughs> and uh, some of them enjoyed it a lot more than others. Yes. Some girls did. Some girls were a little intimidated by everything. By you? No. Yes. You. No, hardly. <laughs> the only one that wouldn't talk to me was my kid. I know. She wanted to be with me, though. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I was showing some pictures yesterday, and uh, yeah, she uh, she definitely had some fun. With she you. did. Um, but it's, how cool is that for you? Because that wasn't this type of thing for you when you were growing up with pageants, right? Yeah, no. In my area, we really never actually had an opportunity for clinics like this, so I felt like it was definitely my responsibility to teach these girls what I wish someone would have taught me when I was about their age. Uh, the turn? Yes. Oh my god. I I could not figure out how to do a turn. It took me about three hours to learn how to spin uh, properly and then I'd say probably another two hours to learn how to do a walk and spin mm -hmm, at the same time mm -hmm. and then walk out of it. So that was fun. A lot of tears were shed but it was a good time. You know and that was a great thing you mentioned too in your speech as Cassie Turner joining us to the girls was you're going to cry a lot in, pa in the world of pageantry, whatever it is, because you're not going to win every single time. I mean, not everybody is as cool as me, um, but that was an important, I thought, an important line that you told those little girls. Well, yeah, honestly, I wish someone would have told me that, like, you know, you're not always going to win, and it's okay to cry, because it really is. I mean, if you lose, like, that's fine. Don't take it as, oh my god, I'm horrible, I just lost. Take it as, okay. How can I do better? What do I learn from this one time that happened? Right. The judges aren't always looking for you. They might be looking for someone else. And you can't let that get to you. You just have to persevere and actually get, if you want it, you got to get it. So you got to work hard for it. I'm showing a couple of pictures. Um, what's your favorite age group? I'd probably say like the Little Miss age group, like the true Rodeo Little Miss age group around my area, which is about six. <laughs> to 10. So that's my favorite age group just because you are a mentor to them mm -hmm. and they do look at you as that mentor. Um, I got to tell you, I looked pretty good up there. I'm looking at pictures <laughs> now, so I'm just, I mean. The blue was a good touch. The, well, it brings out the eyes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, there's you and the little one. Uh, she was so adorable. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. And that dress, I knew I had seen it. I asked my wife, I'm like, have you seen that? And she goes, I think, and I said, I think it's in the picture. It's in one of your pictures. It is. It is. It's, it's, it's a nice my dress. autograph sheet dress. So it is. I had yes. Lindsay Garpstead take that when we were over in Dillon for a photo okay. shoot. Okay. Um, Cassie Turner joining us. Okay, so you said Sunday. I had no idea until Sunday, but you're like, I'm stopping by. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay, what are we going to talk about? So this is, it's all at you now. Yeah, so I actually really wanted to hit the Little Miss experience with you and tell them how great it was, but yeah. you already got that covered, so oh, I don't well. even have to bring that up because you mentioned it right away. <laughs> All right, uh, Kevin Tenney's uh, watching, and uh, he just said, I 
I think he was referencing the fact that I didn't look that good. Uh oh. Kevin, come on, man. I thought we were friends. Um, okay, so little or little Miss uh, experience. Gail did a great job putting that thing together. She did. And uh, the volunteers were awesome. The ice cream was awesome. I love the chocolate ice cream. It was so good. The I don't know what was it was, but it had like chocolate, and then I think it had like fudge in it. It did. Yes. Yeah. Because so I good. took a bite and I'm like, wait, that's that's, oh, not that's really chocolate good. ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what do you? Can you eat whatever you want? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I actually have a really high metabolism, so I can pretty much eat whatever, whenever. <laughs> I eat all the time, so my mom and dad literally say I eat them at home because wow. I'm usually always eating, especially at home. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, you're at home a lot. Uh, no, I'm not. Actually. <laughs> I'm never <laughs> home. <laughs> Cassie Turner joining us here, Jason Walker Show. All right. So what's coming up on the horizon? Um, there is. There's, we've already know who Miss Last Chance Stampede's going to be because there was only one we have girl. One that, that contestant registered. this year for Miss Last Chance Stampede, and that's Clancy Olson. So I'm super excited to watch her go through the motions. She has to pass, so we're making sure that she knows that, and she's prepping really hard for it right now. I'm actually super proud of her. So I can't wait to watch her compete in hopes of actually getting the title down <laughs> as long as she gets going and gets that pass. But. Yeah, and the pageant's going to be awesome with her. Um, I get to actually use it as prep for Miss Rodeo Montana as okay. well with our judges, so that's going to be super fun. The girls are great that I've been working with, helping me get up to speed with everything. And then we're actually super excited and looking for new pageant sponsors this year. So if anyone wants to be a sponsor, please feel free to contact Gail Hatch yes. or the page. Yeah, uh, on Facebook. Um, great info. Great pictures, too. Thank you. Anyway, um, okay, so Clancy's already the winner if she passes. But it's a bummer because I was supposed to MC the banquet. Now there's not going to be a banquet. So you think what, was Gail, MC? Well, what was Gail talking about the other day? So you and I are going to co announce some like pig race or something at the 4 H barn? No. Well, what are we doing at the 4 H barn? I didn't know we were at the 4-H barn. I thought we were doing something with 4 Hers. No. You said we'll co-announce. I don't even remember what it was. Horsemanship. Oh, horsemanship. Same thing. Horsemanship. I don't have to set up patterns, so I'll just come hang out with you and announce. I like I it. I can read a bio. Okay, yes. you can. One bio is going to be tough. Um, it's a. What's the pattern? So Clancy is doing a level 7 pattern from the 4-H book, is what I was told. Okay, what's that mean? A level seven pattern. It's a pretty hard pattern. It's got. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I bet Kayla Simu would know this. Yeah. So if Kayla's okay. watching, Kayla, please just send me a quick little message. Aren't but you supposed to know all of this stuff? I do. So actually, I was getting there before you died laughing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. No, but she's basically gonna show all the maneuvers that you do in ringing. So we have sliding stops. We have tons of spins. We have speed changes seeing if we can control our horses in the different speed changes, as well as some rollbacks. That's going to be really fun for her. Backing up and a queen buzz, okay. per usual. I need to fix the lighting. So when you're watching this later with your dad, um, I didn't know you the hat. It's it's the hat. Every queen has their hat on, so you're going to have to fix it. I do have especially to fix Especially for like when Katie Lane comes back. Yes. We yes. need the light here. Well, and Brienne Grimshaw is going to come in because... Yeah. Um, we've got the Miss Rodeo Montana pageant, which is coming up, and I still get to be a part of that. Thank God. Well, that, <laughs> that's going to be fun, because um, you, you have to actually compete at that thing. I am competing, so you I... You and Brianne, do we know who else? Me and Brianne. That's it? <laughs> that's all I know. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's going to be anyone else, but I sure hope so. Okay. Um, were you bummed that you had to be here over the weekend and not in Mile City with the rest of the Queens? No, I actually like hanging out and talking to you, and I thought it was going to be a great opportunity for the little girls. Well, okay. <laughs> I know you're only half serious. The little girls were awesome. They were great. They were so cute. Haley was having fun playing with the fringe mm -hmm. on my dress, and that's little Miss Haley Hatch. She's Gail's granddaughter, yeah. so yeah, if anyone didn't know who she was, go look on our poster. You'll see her picture. You're right, and you know what's really funny about her? Is what is she nine, eight, nine years She's old? Five. That's it. Five. She's only five. Okay. She was talking and talking and talking the whole time, and then as soon as she comes up on stage to do her little interview with me, it was yeses and noes. Yes, nothing. She just was done. Like, uh. uh. 
thank you for not doing that because that's um, it's hard to talk to people that. And again, she's five, and at least she tried because my little one didn't even my little one didn't even talk to me. She talked to me, so I, she, I mean, if I had the microphone, she would have probably said something. This is gonna upset Kayla, but you're her favorite now. I know. Yeah. Sorry, Kayla. Not really. <laughs> I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so uh, July, we have uh, the Stampede here. It's going to be full pour, uh, full bore. we got the concert. I'm going to be doing my show live out yeah. there. It's going to be uh, a fun rodeo, and you obviously get to be involved. How many other queens are coming? Not sure just yet. I'm hoping that Miss Caitlin Cross will be there, and I'm really excited to see if we'll get some other local rodeo royalty out there as well. That would be cool. Because um, in the past, we've usually had, what, three or four? I think three or four. My goal is to try and get some of my friends that are also queens to come out too. Oh, uh, what's her um Magdalena. Magdalena. Magdalena, little Maggie. She's a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart. I really can't wait to watch her continue to grow. I want her to do super well at school when she goes over to Bozeman mm -hmm. this next year. And I can't wait to watch her keep cleaning. But she has short road. hair. Aren't you supposed to have long hair? So she actually had longer hair than I didn't. Like that was with extensions. I mean, she had all the way down to her butt. So now that she actually has hair, it's a lot better for her. Okay. Because it grows really fast. Though. Okay. Because I was gonna when I saw her at the uh, at your gala, mm -hmm. it was really short and cute. Yes. Yeah. It is really cute. I like her. So she's Miss Darby. Miss Darby Radio Darby. Association. Okay. Um, a title that you have held. <laughs> I love that title. I love that radio it's association home for as you. well. Yeah. It's home. Okay, which, um, <laughs> but you're gonna if you're Miss Mo if if you get to win Miss Rodeo Montana, yeah. Then what's your favorite? What's my favorite? Oh God, I don't know. That That's one gonna has be, to be right. It's probably gonna be the Rig and Rally in Derby. I I get to do it again this year on July or not July June fifth and sixth and. On that Friday night, we're having 83 cowboys compete in the PRCA bareback riding. And then on Saturday night, there will be 30. So six will move on out of those 83. Okay. And then you'll have your top 24. Okay. Um, I'm really excited for uh, August in Great Falls. A couple of days hanging out with Queens. Four. Four days. Four days. Man, I don't know if I can do that. Um, I'll try and make it worth your while and, like, you know, throw in some dad jokes. <laughs> Kayla's been helping me. Okay, I was just going to say. I, I was yeah, just going to say. Kayla's Kayla. really good. Um, I don't know who this guy is, but Jason Bushnell on Facebook just said, Kevin, well said about A, that I look good. Nobody, I look really good. I'm going to pull up that picture again. I thought I looked really good. I had the black, I had the blue. You're, you're going with a little vibe there. Yes. Black and blue. Um, <laughs> there's the picture. And I, I mean, I'm not even as chunky as I used to be. I've lost weight. <laughs> you got nothing. <laughs> She's like, eh, whatever, dude. Um, <laughs> all fine. right, so, but I am losing weight, which is good. Anyway, good. Um, say hi to mom and dad. I will. I'm actually spreading mom's on here. So what are you doing over here today? I came over to ride some horses okay. with Susie Egbert, and that was really fun. I but got to ride you, a you have like six of your own, and one of them you're scared of. Yes, I have six at home. Uh, one of them, I'm not scared of him. We just don't like each other. It's very mutual. <laughs> I wouldn't say friendship, but more like hate ship. We just don't. Like, okay. He hates me, and I don't get along with him because of that. So. Okay. so is that the one you're going to put me on when I come over? Sure. Yeah, you can get on him. Okay. He's all yours. Not mine. <laughs> so get on, horse. <laughs> get on him, and then I'll get on you. Which of your horses can I get on? Flicka, Sunny, and Silver. Doc. He's just still a stud in his mind. He doesn't know white ground manners completely. Okay. Um, and then I have my two babies, Corona and Whiskey, and they are baby heads. They have no idea what's going on in the world. <laughs> I like whiskey, though. I like whiskey, too. He's a cute. No, no, no. I like drinking well, whiskey. I like my horse whiskey. <laughs> You're not old enough yet. I am not old enough. You are not. No. Nope. Um, but whiskey is, is good. And Corona is good, too. And this was that was funny the other day because the little kids were like, they went over their head. Yes, but, but all the parents. All the parents it. got it because you you said uh, my horse Corona named before the pandemic. Yes, so I like that. Um, yeah, her name was Corona probably about three years ago. Okay. So way before COVID was a thing. <laughs> if you have a horse 
And you're calling start calling it COVID down the road, then we're in, yeah. And then it'll be yeah. pandemic name, yeah. Yes. Um, was that the same um, crown you had on the other day? Yeah. Okay. Different hat though. Different hat. Okay, because your hat was black. No, it was gray. It, was, it wasn't it's gray. It's a steel gray. Okay. It has black Swarovski crystals on it and brittle. Oh, I'm looking. It's a custom made hat from Double H Hat Company in Derby. I need to get a hold of them because I want a new hat made. Go for it. Call them. They make great hats. Yes. No, I, have I have two. I have two. I have a pink one, so it's like a light baby pink. Okay. Perfect for Chapman Thor pink. And then I have my custom mm -hmm. one. All right. So where is that one from? This one's a Greeley. Okay. I have my Greeley Also hat. good. Yes. Um, I love my which Greeley. is the one that does Miss Rodeo Montana? Greeley. Greeley. Okay. So um, you it's a little bit of both. It's Greeley and Double H Hat Company because Miss Rodeo Montana and Miss Teen Rodeo Montana do get award okay. for one custom hat from Jimmy. J I was going to say Jimmy's his name. Jimmy Harrison. Okay. That, that mm -hmm. mean, he's a good dude. So. Yes, right. he's great. I've it known him for a while. Well, since he's in Derby, you probably should have known him. I've known him since I was in second grade because his wife, former wife I should say, was actually my second grade teacher. Mm -hmm. okay. So he brought a little alligator head in there into our classroom and taught us about <laughs> alligators. <laughs> nice. Uh, what are you going to do after Rodeo, uh, Miss Rodeo America? After Miss Rodeo America? Well, I do Because you have another, I mean, we have a year. We so. have a year, so it goes Miss Rodeo Montana, and then you would be competing for Miss Rodeo America that right. following December after you are officially taking over in January. Right. So that would be really exciting. Fingers crossed to win, go another year. Um, my goal after I'm completely done cleaning though is I want to continue on in my schooling, Texas A&M, so oh, that's right. where I want to go. Okay. I no have worries. everything lined up, so super excited, hoping to get an agricultural journalism degree. I like that, and then Thank you can you. work for the Cowboy Channel. Yes, I do want to work for the Cowboy Channel. I can't wait to see them at the Rigan Rally, so that'll be fun. Um, I applied for a job with Jeff Metters, and I haven't heard from him. So it's probably not a good sign. <laughs> maybe he just reach out. Maybe he didn't get my email. Reach out. Maybe I sent it to the wrong place. Maybe. Could be. Just reach out. I will. <laughs> I will. Um, stick around while I do the rest and wrap up. Yeah. Right. I want to see my little Winnie. Well, she'll be here soon. I don't. know. Your, your wife just left to get her. <laughs> don't uh, uh, don't forget to tell your mom and dad hi. I won't. Especially your dad. Yes, he's very excited for your guys' golfing I'm trip. I'm scared. I I'm so scared. It's Toby. Because uh, I don't want to get kicked out. I've no, he's just going to drive the golf cart. I know. That is his plan. That's the scary part. Um, <laughs> your dad. Anyway, Cassie Turner, Miss Last Chance Stampede. She'll be back on um, probably a couple of times before January, or, uh, July. July. Okay. Thanks for coming over, though. Thank you. I know it wasn't just for me, but it was for us. All right, uh, what are we doing here? This is, uh, oh, I wanted to give the Miles Community College update. Uh, their softball team uh, got some awards, so let's run through that real quick. Uh, four players from the Region 13 softball champ, Miles Community College, were selected all region. Autumn Porter, Tessa De La Silva, Olivia Cook, and Cassidy Kinsey, along with uh, Coach Shauna Juarez, chosen as the Coach of the Year. So there you go. Good stuff. We'll talk to Miles' baseball coach, Jeff Brabant, tomorrow. Um, see, we don't we cover other stuff than just road, which we have to. Um, there's softball going on right now, actually, and uh, divisionals. So tomorrow we'll have complete updates for you. And uh, what else? Oh, MSU B um, golfer Garrett Wooden. He's really good. He uh, shot a 7 over 79 to sit in 45th at the NCAA Division II Championships down at Palm Beach Gardens, Florida on PGA National Resort Golf Course. Uh, so there's that. Let's see. Santiago de la Fuente of Arkansas Tech and Ian Treblecock of Washburn University are tied for first. They each went one under Monday. So we'll find out where uh, Wooden's at today, after today, tomorrow, right? He also had a 50-foot birdie putt from uh, yesterday. So, good job. Okay, cool. All right, let's do On This Day in History. It is brought to you by Big Sky Printwear. We print what you wear, including Jason Walker Show merchandise, which Miss Cassie had on the other day. It was, a, it was, it was cool. I had to see it on somebody else that wasn't a family member. <laughs> so, appreciate that. 
Uh, let's see here. On this day in history, it is uh, May 18th. Visit your relatives day. Cheese souffle day. And no dirty dishes day. Do you ever do dishes? No. No? <laughs> Mom does. Just mom? Yeah. You cook? Dad cooks, mom cleans, and I show up when I get off And work. you eat. Yep. Okay. Uh, 1880, sixth Kentucky Derby, Fonzo would win. It was the year after Spokane <laughs> for Montana. 1912, Philadelphia A's beat the Tigers 24 to 2. Um, let's see, 1920, 45th Preakness, Man of War would get the win. That was a pretty good horse. 1929, 55th Kentucky Derby. Clyde Van Dusen is the winning horse. 1933, first Major League All-Star game was announced. It would be played as part of the Chicago World's Fair at Comiskey Park. 1957, 82nd Preakness, Eddie Acaro aboard Bold Ruler would win. And Bold Ruler, you might remember from the movie Secretariat, because that was the sire of Secretariat who went on to win the Triple Crown. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? I did. I actually have a photo in my dad's office of Secretariat signed by his jockey. Really? Yeah. Nice. Super cool. That is I awesome. want it in my room, but Dad says no. I wonder, would Dad let me put it up in here? Probably your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Other great horses, 1963, the 88th Preakness, Candy Spots, 1968, the Preakness, Forward Pass. Uh, are you a fan of hockey? No. 1971, Henri Richard would score twice. The Montreal Canadiens would beat the Chicago Blackho uh, Blackhawks to win the Cup. 1974, the 99th Preakness, Current Little would win. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tanks Prospect won the Preakness in 1985 on this date. Hansel on this date in 1991. And Louis XIV would win in 1996 with Pat Day aboard. Uh, let's see here. You don't golf. Your dad doesn't golf, but he's going to attempt to. 2001, 101-year-old Harold Stilson became the oldest golfer to get a hole-in-one. The 108-yard par-3 at Deerfield Country Club in Florida. I have never had one. Uh, 2002, War Emblem would win. That was a good horse, the Preakness. Randy Johnson threw a perfect game on this date in 2004. Oxbow won the Preakness in 2013. Uh, War of Will won in 2019. Happy birthday, Brooks Robinson, Reggie Jackson. Dario Franchitti was born on this date, mm -hmm. my Scottish race car driver. Um, he used to be married to Ashley Judd. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know whose birthday it is in country music today? I do not. King mm -hmm. George. George Strait, born in the state in 1952. Nice. He's pretty good at um, team roping yeah. and uh, cutting. I, I actually was listening to his music on the way over here. There you go. Um, his older stuff is better. It's one of my favorites to model to is all of his older songs. Like so when I'm doing all my pageant modeling, yeah. That's, Fireman. That's my go -man. Nice, nice. Um, not the slow stuff, though. I like all of it, actually. <laughs> Whether it's fast, depending on the outfit. If the outfit's okay. kind of like a spicy outfit, then a little bit faster music. If it's a little spicy. more... Spicy. <laughs> this is... Okay, 1830. <laughs> uh, this date, Edward and Budding of England would sign an agreement mm -hmm. for the manufacturer of his invention, the lawnmower, and weekends for dudes destroyed forever. But I liked him, though. Uh, 1980, Mount St. Helens erupted. We had, uh, I think we had a day off of school, but I remember the Ash and Mosley. It killed 57, largest landslide in history. In 1973, Jeanette Rankin died on this date. She was the first woman elected to the U.S. Congress from Montana and twice voted against war, World War I and World War II. All right, that is uh, on this day in history. Miss Cassie looks bored, so we're just going to wrap things up. Hang on, we'll do the walk up. Gale, oh, Gale goodness. Back. What's Gail want? Telling us what to talk about. Oh, now, what oh. did we forget? No, we hit it all. Okay. Thanks, Gail. She did that last time you were on, too. Yep. <laughs> um, we didn't miss much. We had a good time today. Uh, Frank Koloski from Rodeo, Alaska. That's cool. They had a rodeo in Alaska. 34 of the top 40 uh, PRC bull riders are going to be there next weekend. I know, that's what you were telling me about. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. I'd like to go. 
I would not. You should in, you should no. get Dar there's not snow it melts in Anchorage no. once in a while. Uh, put Darvacious up there. No. He's happy right now. He, is he gonna be a buck and bowl or just a bowl? Right now, I haven't decided. He probably could go back into bucking a little bit more, but he's also very content with just getting loved on and his scratches and his furry comb. <laughs> just, and just hanging out. Just chilling right, right now. Um, how old is he? He's 10. So um, he's getting up he's there. Getting up there. Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll get on him still. Tomorrow. Oh, and Miss Last Chance that Cassie Turner. Tomorrow. Miles Community Baseball Coach Jeff Brabant will join us from the bus on the way to Iowa. And Allie Colleen will join us as well. And uh, she's got the famous dad that we're not allowed to talk about. But she will join us tomorrow here on the show. Looking forward to that. She's got new music out, and uh, we'll talk to her. So, oh, i got to play music. There we go. Fun times. Fun times. I think the little one's going to be home here any minute. We're going to hang out with Miss Cassie. Thanks for coming. It's always good to see you. Thank you. Um, in, yeah, anytime. She's welcome. It's like mi casa, su casa, familia. We're all related. Yes. All right. Uh, we're going to do it tomorrow. Jeff Robant, Ali Colleen. We're talking music and baseball. Mm -hmm. And uh, good luck to everybody still playing today and starting up tomorrow across the state, doing whatever you're doing. We'll see you tomorrow. Jason Walker Show, presented by Capital Collision Center. Oh, let me do this. Good stuff. I gotta fix the lighting in here. Yeah. I tried to fix it earlier, but and then I hung that up and it wasn't working great. You'll get it. Yeah, I missed the the it doesn't work i've got like pinned <laughs> yeah i did awesome yeah yeah i am um...